I am collaborating with the American Association of Immunologists on their fantastic new initiative, Immunology Explained, to help break down the science behind our immune systems. Have you ever just looked in the mirror and asked your body, why? Why? Why are you doing this? If you're living with Sjogren's, you know that feeling of both confusion and a little bit of a trail. You're not just tired. You're not just dry. Your immune system feels like it's a bit at war with itself. So Sjogren's 101, the case of mistaken identity. But I want you to imagine that your immune system is similar to a highly trained security team. Its job is to protect your body from outside invaders like viruses, bacteria, venoms, like if you got a snake bite, right? Most of us aren't around snakes very much anymore, but that's another aspect to how our immune system works. And in Sjogren's disease, the security team makes a fundamental mistake. It starts attacking our own body's healthy tissue when our own tissue really isn't the enemy. And this is what we often will call auto or self immunity. The body's defense system has gotten confused and treats its own cells and parts and pieces, proteins, other parts of our being as if they were dangerous intruders. The primary targets in this case of mistaken identity and in the case of Sjogren's often are our exocrine glands, E-X-O-C-R-I-N-E, rather than endocrine glands, right? Exocrine glands. These are glands that typically produce moisture, like our salivary glands in our mouth, the lacrimal glands in our eyes. We think of them as the faucets that keep our mouth and our eyes moist and comfortable. And when the immune system attacks these glands, it's as if someone is clogging the pipes and causing everything to dry up. That's one of the core reasons for the hallmark dry mouth and dry eyes that are often seen with Sjogren's disease. 